Anyways, I was redirected towards this course it's called Vipassana. You can do it in America, but I just wanted to do it in the heart of, of everything, you yes. know, the most extreme way possible. So it's a 12 day course. You can't speak, you can't look into someone's eyes, you can't read, you can't write, you can't exercise, you sleep on the floor. If you want to do it extreme way, you don't eat afternoon. Uh, you don't eat after 12 in the yeah. afternoon. You wake up from 4 a.m. and you meditate on the floor 14 hours a day until 11 p.m. And then you go to sleep. And you go to sleep. And you literally, if you've ever played an RPG game, you know, a role-playing game, and you walk around the field and like, it's like hit A to talk to. It's basically like that, except you can never hit A. <laughs> and everyone's just standing there in the corner, just like looking down, and you just like walk by them, and it's like. Have you seen Game of Thrones? Yes, Have you had a little any, bit. So do you? Do you know Sansa, not Sansa, her sister, the little one, when she goes to that monastery and she has to kill fucking people? Do you know what I'm talking about? When she, does that when she poisons them or something? I don't yeah, know. Well, anyways, all I'm trying to say is it sounds super intense. And like, obviously, oh, so when we, we had this conversation prior to being on camera, but um, when I was asking him, I told, I said right off the bat, when he told me that, that must have been the hardest thing ever. And he said no, because he'll tell you what he did after that is fucking insane. But like sitting down for 14 hours you said you did this for two weeks right yeah was it like someone was watching you making sure you were doing everything right there was it there, like just self yeah there are a few people who watch you so the first five days are just meditating it's like two hours and a break then three hours and a break then four hours and a break then two hours and a break then one you know and, you keep and when they say meditate like meditate like sit down so i didn't know i didn't sauce. know what meditation was i honestly thought it was for Blanking weirdos. Yeah, exactly. Uh, this is weird. Does. This is some weird stuff. You gotta be a hippie. You gotta be a lost mind, soul person. I don't know what's wrong with these people, but I used to laugh at them. Like really laugh at them. Yes. And uh, and also be scared. And that's all why I wanted to do it because I'm scared of it. You know, because that's what that's how you grow. Do something you're scared of. So I went with no knowledge, and everyone else has been researching, and done a class before, and knows what they're doing. Yes. And. Uh, I don't even know what meditation is. I get down and basically the whole premise is meditation is the exact opposite of what I thought it was. It's, what is it? So it's not thinking. Me. It's just focusing on nothing more than your breath and your sensations. So it's not thinking about your life. It's not thinking about you know things that impact you. It's doing nothing more than focusing on your breath. So the first three days, you focus on nothing more than the breath going in and out of your nose. That sounds really fucking annoying. Day five, you spend an hour, three times a day, separate days, on top of the other 12 hours where you can't move a muscle. You can't move a muscle. For, for an hour, you want to just... So are you laying down? You sit, crisscross, fucking hands. <laughs> so I'm not flexible, so that's really difficult. Well, neither am I. I've had five surgeries. Oh, I can't even, I'm sitting there. Were you able... Oh. No, I rig up a little... I had a sweatshirt, I wrapped around my knees. And uh, excruciating pain. I mean, like, like real pain. Actually, real, I mean, you can't move a muscle for an hour. You can, of but course, it's, but, but like, you want to be competitive, want, exactly, right? I mean, the goal is to not move. Okay, I love that you just said you want to be competitive because, like, knowing Nate, knowing this man, he wants to do it right. He wants to be the best. He wants to. He wants to accomplish the goal. Were you doing this? In the mindset, when I think someone meditating, they want to clear their mind, be like spiritual, live up there, or were you doing it because you want to just get the task done? Get the task done. I but do it, in the, do it in the, the way right it way. should be done. Yes. So that means like, okay, if they're going to say don't think, I'm not going to think. I'm going to do the instructions, follow the instructions. This is still ridiculous. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I'm doing it to conquer each other, another challenge. Only reason. Okay. So. All right, continue. So Hilarious. that so that you had a uh, uh, by the fifth day you were trying not to move the muscles. Three times a day. Three times a day. Were you ever successful? So first day, I think I was successful at night, and it was the most pain I've ever had. Not ever had, but I mean it's a lot of pain, right? Like what kind of pain? I mean like really, really severe pain. Like is it because you can't move and you're like itchy and you like no like actually because joint sitting down pain, isn't serious serious joint pain your back starts to fucking spasm I mean like you're in serious pain and you move and then like oh they're like oh and you're like, <laughs> relax so at the beginning I'm changing I'm changing postures like okay. every five seconds right because I'm like oh oh oh, oh, oh. Of course. my butt hurts my arms hurt my legs hurt days go on, I start to feel more, you know, you progress from the breath of the nose to the breath of the head to the arms to the legs to the feet to the whole body. Is it, are we good? Yeah, no, we're good. Sorry. Go ahead. Progressing? And, uh, yes. And basically, 
by day eight or nine, I was, I, since I've been following it so rigidly, mm -hmm. unlike the other people, because most of the people, they eat afternoon, they don't sleep on the floor, they don't really buy into it. Mm -hmm. um, but I really bought into it, as I do with everything. Yes. So I kind of hit, I hit the, the landmarks like two days ahead of it. Right? I thought. Yes. Um, and I believe it. Like, I, like, there's no question in my mind. Like, I believe it. I just do. Right. Well, it's knowing different people. Some people are, are, are there, too. Some people were beating me with that. It's not with, uh, they had, they were accomplishing it more quickly. Yeah, I was. whatever. But in a different way. Anyways, uh, I left my body day eight. Day nine, I'm doing these hour long. When you sits. say you left your body, what do you mean? I mean, I'm not in my body. I floated outside of my body. And so I keep going. Yes. And, you floated uh, outside of your body. And I'm up above my body, looking at myself. And I'm like a monkey on the floor meditating. And I'm like, holy fuck. This is, is Okay, are you being serious? Dead serious. Day nine, I turn to a pile of, the whole thing is, uh, the whole thing is about letting go of your love and your revulsions, which is hatred, right? And if you do that, then you get rid of all pain, right? This is their whole theory. Okay, so I'm meditating, I'm scanning my whole body now. And you basically, it's like thing, feeling, the premise is, if I touch your arm, Yes. You feel that, yes. right? Yes. That sensation. Yes. The premise is to feel this, right? Yes. This molecule and every single other molecule at the same exact time, right? So you can feel the wind over here as you can feel the temperature of your glass over here and everything at the same time. So you just have pins and needles everywhere. It's kind of dumb. Anyways, I got it. I left my body. And then this whole love and emotion thing, I my head turned into a bag of McDonald's. And I'm thinking, a oh my, bag of I'm thinking, I'm thinking, oh, this is what they mean by like, my, my love is going to disappear. Sure enough, the bag disappears. And you know, this is all in your mind. Uh, oh, that's what it means. That's what it means. My love, my, my, <laughs> my love addictions is, are gone. Your, your love is McDonald's. And all of a sudden, my body just transformed into cheeseburgers. And I started vibrating and like, just gyrating my body. And I was like, I fucking love McDonald's. I love it. And I'm not getting rid of it. <laughs> and I, it was the best thing ever. Okay, yeah. all right, all right. So Full wait. on hallucinations, yeah. That's fucking... So I'm, I'm but, but you, but you so I was about to ask, do you think it was hallucinations? But you're right. You, so you think it's 100% hallucinations. Those were, yeah. But you do leave your body. Because if you think about it, you sit in a position for so long, you can feel every molecule. The shape of your body starts to disintegrate, to disappear. So you melt into the floor. It's called astral projection as well. Uh, people do it lying down in their beds. So that's a whole other bullshit. Anything. So when you, so my question is like, when you go to sleep and you have a dream, is it the same feeling or is it a? So this is the trippy thing. So you keep doing this whole thing, right? And you, you start to lose your, yourself and everything, and, and it's really blowing your mind. Yeah. And then by day nine, day ten, you can't sleep. Okay. And the whole premise is what? You can't sleep. So when you sleep, you toss and turn. Right? You toss and turn when you sleep. You don't know yes. if you're tossing yeah, and turn, okay. right? Which means your body is reacting to stimuli, but you're not conscious enough oh, to, to, uh, to realize those stimuli. This, this, you enter like such a mental state. This yeah. is so ridiculous and so hippie, but it's a fact that you're now entering your subconscious state. So when you're sleeping, you can now feel those stimuli, which are reacting to your body. So I'm, in, I'm swimming in my dream now, and I can feel my arms swimming. I'm like, this is ridiculous. So I move my arms to swim in the dream, and my arms are swimming in real life now. And I start to freak out, really freak out. Whoa, uh, whoa, whoa. I start like, I'm, I'm, I start like <laughs> screaming myself away. I start slapping myself. I hated it. But by the end, there's no pain. You sit for an entire hour, zero. I mean, zero pain. I go up to the guy after when we can talk, and I said, Hey, like that last day, like I sat for an hour and a half. You know, longer than the necessary time, and I didn't have a stitch of pain, like zero pain, without moving, without even moving an inch. And I was like, "What's good with that? You know, like, that doesn't make sense." And he's like, "Well, did you feel sensation? You know, did you feel like explosions of little things?" I was like, "Yeah." He's like, "Well, that is pain, but you're so removed from your body that you can't recognize that you aren't recognizing the pain aspect of pain. You're just recognizing the still." That blows my fucking blows my mind. mind. It blew my mind because I hate hippies. But now, I mean, 
no, 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 no. This is different than being a hippie. Oh, it's very. This is very different than being a hippie.